This year is the 20th year of our One Act Play Festival, so it's a very rich tradition here at the Attic. It's actually called the Denise Reagan Wiesenmeyer One Act Festival, and the reason it has such a long title is 20 years ago when we started the theater, Denise was the co-founder with me, and her passion, the thing that she worked on all year long, was the Play Festival. And so when she passed away in 2007, it just seemed like the incredibly logical and wonderful thing to do to name the festival for her. It still gets me, I still miss her. She was such an important part of what was going on here at the theater. And we noticed that this year we coincide with the 10th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. So we decided to kind of combine the two events. We're gonna focus on both September 11th itself, and at the same time, we also want to investigate and explore where we've come in the 10 years since September 11th. To uh, improve the, the quality of our productions and the quality of work that we're producing, we've tried to reach out to a broader array of playwrights rather than just uh, local writers. We try to find plays nationally and even internationally. We get playwrights from all over the world. Uh, last year we had Lee Blessing, who is the winner of a Pulitzer Prize. We had Wendy McLeod, who is uh, the author of House of Yes, which is a very famous play, also a very famous movie. They both submitted world premieres to us. Um, so we're attracting all kinds of writers from all across the country, from Los Angeles, from New York, from Europe. Uh, a few years ago, we even had a, a play submitted from South America and one from South Africa. This year's One Act Festival will run for four weekends and we'll have two different evenings. So you'll have the opportunity to see completely different repertory of plays from evening to evening. And the one evening will focus on new plays written by writers about the specifically the 10th anniversary of September 11th. The second evening will be plays that are already established, they're, they're written by established writers, plays that have been produced before that focus on September 11th specifically, rather than the anniversary of the event. In having two evenings to our One Act Play Festival, we hope to look at the tragic events of September 11th themselves, and then in conversation with that, we'll have a second evening of theater in which we will explore how our country has changed, how we've survived, we'll celebrate our achievements, and in that way, the two evenings will really dialogue with one another. People submit their plays, they can find out information about our contest online, they can submit online, and there's a, a winner, uh, there's a first prize, a cash prize, there's a second place cash prize, and uh, there's also the opportunity for the play to be published on our online publishing platform. Um, so I think it's an incredibly wonderful opportunity for a playwright to, whether you're known or you're unknown, to get your work done. Because if you're one of the four to six finalists, we actually produce your work in front of an audience, full-scale production. Actors, directors, it's not a reading, it's a full-scale production. And uh, then uh, judges from uh, the Los Angeles theater community, like the Geffen and the Taper and a South Coast Rep, we invite them to come in and take a look at it. There's also an audience participation part. It's actually a lot of fun. And it's not really so much about the production, that's just kind of the end result of this process that we go through here at The Attic. But more for the playwright, it's... Um, um, they look at the story, they look at the plot, they look at the characters, they look at the dialogue, the depth, what they're talking about. Many times they're comparing different types of genres, uh, uh, satire and drama and comedy. But, um, you know, we've been picking winners for 20 years and I think we've always picked the correct one every single year, regardless of what the background was or the, the genre that it was. We're very proud of what we do here and um, I think it it's, defines the theater. Uh, as, a, as a place where we uh, explore and we push new work, uh, trying to find new playwrights um, who have new stories to tell.